Welcome back, everybody. Here to show us a really cute way to capture love in a timeless fashion. This is wonderful. Is the timeless Orly Shani. I oh, love this idea, Orly. I do, too. This is honestly one of my most favorite things I've ever done, mainly because the idea of it came to me as this idea of almost like a treasure box where you could write a love letter and, like, encapsulate mm. and hide it away forever. And then when I started working on it, it's so easy that now I'm really, really in love with it. It is insanely easy. I cannot wait to show you guys how to make this. It's incredible. So what do we need? Okay, so the first thing that you need are cufflink blanks. That's okay. what these are called right here. You can buy them on a variety of sites um, in a variety of metals. So if you want something that's a little bit fancier, you can buy them you know, from like Etsy where you can get sterling silver. I found these, a pack of 20 of these, for $9 on Amazon. Do they so, need to be wow. specific? Though. Cufflink blanks are gonna have like that little depression in there. See that little like, mm -hmm. you know, maybe an eighth of an inch depression? Okay. You need that. Okay. That's important. That's the only thing. Yeah, that's the most important thing. And they come in different, you know, square or circle. I got circle. So the next thing you're gonna do is get a uh, paper and you're just gonna find something round. This doesn't matter what you're using because this is just providing a guide so that you can stay within your shape. So all I do is trace and I have a little guide. Now I'm gonna go ahead and write my letter. So I'm gonna write, you know, I call Mike my love, so my love, um, I don't want you to see everything because it's so emotional. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly, okay. but wait, that's big. Yes, that's not it's gonna big. Fit in there. This is what it looks like, right? So I wrote two love letters to my husband. This was, you know, just all the reasons why I love him, and these are all of the places, the first place we met, our first date, our first vacation. Oh, that's so clever. Little Thank details, you. right? So what I'm gonna do now is you load, you, you scan this in, and you're gonna shrink it. Tell me this isn't the cutest little thing that really is. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Look at that. So now they're nice and tiny. They are three quarters of an inch, which is the size of our cufflink. So now I go ahead and cut them out. And what I would also recommend doing is if you're gonna do this and shrink it down, I would recommend in a card, give him this. So oh, he can read right. it, he knows what <laughs> it says, exactly. and then he wears mm -hmm. on his wrist, maybe he can't read it because it's really small, but it's like this private little thing between right. you. Yeah. Mm. So you're gonna go ahead and cut it out, and I've got two of these here. Um, before I show you how to actually put them inside, I wanna say one other thing. If you don't have like the, the Photoshop ability to shrink something down that small, right. I actually don't know how to do that. They, the guys here helped me a lot in the art department. One thing you can do is use your cuff link as a guide trace it, and now just write what you can fit inside. Mm -hmm. So now just write, you know. I love you. I love you always, right? Or oh, whatever you want. that's adorable. So now. That fits, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah, and I don't, so you don't have to, you thank you. So you don't actually have to shrink it down if you don't have that uh, technical ability. Just trace just a it. shorter message. Message. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> so now you're gonna take your um, cuff link and your little piece that you've cut out and we're just gonna pop it inside. Right, but it's not gonna stay just like that. How do it's you not gonna stay. I got working on what actually makes it stay earlier today, so let's roll in the pre-tape of what that process is. So here we go, I got resin. Resin is really what makes this all come together. So you put them in hot water because if the resin is warm, it prevents bubbles. So now I have two little cups with a measuring mark because you need equal parts of both. Now you mix the two parts together and you wanna mix it very quickly for the first part. And you'll see that now I'm putting in eight drops of hardener. Follow all the directions, it'll tell you what to do. Now when you're mixing it, you're gonna see like striations in there. Keep mixing it until those disappear and it appears clear to you. Now I just use this flower foam so that it's nice and level. I'm using my spoon and just dripping it in. You need barely any because it's so thick, and see how it has that nice rounded bubble yeah, edge? I love that. It looks like it's, so you, when, once it's done, you almost can't figure out how it was, how it was done because it sort of magnifies it, right. and it's got this beautiful rounded edge, but ultimately that's what you're gonna do is you're gonna shrink it down or draw on it, mm -hmm. push it in, and then it's got, you're gonna put in your resin and let it drop. If you see any bubbles form, get like a little clothespin and if they don't disappear on their own, go with a pin and, and, pop and prick them. But they ta it takes, even with the hardener, about six hours to dry. Okay, Without so the hardener, it's like 12. Leave them in that thing for leave a Leave it there. Oh, we've been really antsy and like not, and I've been touching it and testing it and like putting fingerprints all over it. <laughs> leave it, okay, so do it and leave it. Alone. Don't be me. Leave and it. how much would this cost? So we saw these where you could get them custom made for like 120 bucks. These were $2. Wow. 